Humans have been performing surgery for over 7,000 years, but the use of surgical sutures is fairly recent. Ancient Greek surgeons were thought to be the first. They used gut strings to mend the wounds of gladiators over 2,000 years ago. Today's medical sutures come in different forms, such as synthetic monofilament threads, natural collagen fibers, or braided synthetic threads. A technician sets a tension meter to check the quality of the raw materials. The machine applies tension on the knot to measure the force needed to break it. A worker tests the material's absorption process in a heated bath. This simulates the temperature and moisture of the human body. A technician enters the product's medical specifications and prints out a batch of labels. Then, a supervisor selects needles and places them on a table. He retrieves spools of thread from a refrigerated room. To preserve the thread, it's been stored in sealed containers. The supervisor gathers all the materials and brings them to the material preparation department. The supplies are passed through an airlock to maintain the department's positive pressure environment. On the other side, a technician opens the airtight foil and removes the thread spool. She threads the spool in a custom-made winding and cutting machine. The technician sets the mechanical thread counter back to zero and starts the winder. It can wind threads that are up to 100 inches. The counter tracks the number of windings as the machine unspools the thread. The machine stops automatically once the winding is complete. The technician applies medical grade glue to stiffen the ends of the braided threads before cutting them. She places a guide to hold the threads in place while she cuts them along the glue line. Sutures use needles of various shapes and sizes the smallest ones being 10 millimeters in length. On the main production floor, dozens of workers attach needles to the threads. They make sure the attachment meets the suture's requirements. The operator inserts the glue-hardened end of the thread into the back of the needle and crimps it tight with a mechanical swaging machine. Then she hooks the needle into a pull tester to check the strength of each attachment. Finally, workers wind the assembled sutures into folded holding cards, tucking the needles in for protection. A worker inserts the holding card in a labeled foil pouch. Then he slips it in a second package made of medical paper and polypropylene film and feeds it into a continuous rotary sealer. The sealed packages drop into a production holding basket. The finished product is sent for terminal sterilizing. A worker places the basket into an ethylene oxide or EO gas sterilization bag. She attaches a biological indicator vial and a control strip on a sterilization control card and puts the card inside the bag. She adds an EO gas delayed release canister in the bag and places the sealed bag into the sterilizer. Sutures can be used for a variety of procedures, but each product has a very precise application.